Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Davy, and today I am doing a 10 minute declutter and tidy with me. If you're like me during this quarantine stay at home time, it has been a struggle to declutter as then we have piles of stuff that we need to take to thrift stores and donation centers that are just sitting in our homes. And so for me, I haven't really wanted to declutter because I know that it's just gonna sit around. So why have it sit around out in the open when it can sit around in a con confined closed area? So I though am hoping that our donation centers and thrift stores open up relatively soon in the state we are in. Things are opening up a little bit more, so that is exciting. And I'm hoping to be able to get this stuff out of our house. So I just picked a couple different areas that I want to declutter and then tidy a little bit because I don't want to be overwhelmed. It is sometimes overwhelming to just see one big room and think, oh, I have so much junk and stuff I need to get rid of. So pick just three or four small little areas in your house that you want to declutter to do this 10 minute tidy. And maybe you can do this with me at the same time. So I just have um, behind me a little built-in that I have a little doorway. I know there's some items in there in that little storage area that I want to get rid of. I know in my stack of blankets, I have a couple blankets I want to get rid of. And then just another area that needs a little more tidying over by my desk area. And that it can encourage you and push you on to also declutter and tidy. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so in our little cupboard that I have here, we have already decluttered most of our DVDs. We just don't watch DVDs anymore. So I saved some that I thought maybe our kids would enjoy and that we might want to watch if we can't find them on Amazon Prime or YouTube. Um, we don't have Netflix or cable, so we are very simple with that. Um, but I just wanted to keep like 10 DVDs just in case if we wanted to watch them. But there were a few decor pieces I have in here and um, a couple of them just needed to be moved and then I got rid of one little item that I had gotten when I visited Arizona and some friends but I'm like that's not my style anymore so why not get rid of it because it's really not needed if I'm not going to use it and I haven't used it in the past two years. It's just been sitting there. It's little so it's stored nicely but it's time to get rid of it. Okay, and now my blanket basket. I love this basket, by the way. It is from Pier One. I got a gift card for a wedding and it was only $19 on clearance. But anyways, the blankets we have, um, they're cozy. They're not really my style, but I knew I had a couple blankets in here that I needed to put away. And one, the Snuggie that I wanted to get rid of. My husband had this Snuggie and he got it for me because it was an item he couldn't sell on Amazon and I just never used it. I prefer just the blankets thrown over me instead of the little arm blanket. So it was cozy. I used it like twice several years ago, but I forgot it was even in the bottom of my basket. So that's another tip. Look for things that are put away and in bottoms behind things because those are the things that you really are going to want to get rid of. So anyways, I got rid of that blanket and I was so grateful because I don't need it and it will be given to someone else who needs it. Okay, this third area definitely needed a little more tidying than anything. I found our security cameras in there. I forgot I was storing them in there. So I'm going to have my husband put them back up. A couple years ago, we had our window vandalized and broken. So we did purchase security cameras and we just haven't put them back up. Um, so if you want to check out that vlog, go find it in my videos. Maybe I'll put it in the description box, but um, yeah, we were vandalized and then we bought security cameras, but they needed to be moved to a different place or put back up outside. I found a couple Christmas ornaments <laughs> that I was going to give as gifts, but then I thought I liked and I just stored them in that little basket because I didn't put them away. So they need to go down in our Christmas storage area. And then there's just some other decor that I rearranged and took down when I got my desk. And I'm just gonna go store that for now in a temporary place because I'm not sure if I wanna use this little piece, this wood piece or not in some decor. I love it and I got it for free 
but I don't know where to put it. So I'm just gonna store it in a temporary place for now and then if in six to 12 months I don't use it, then it's gotta go. And then just maybe put my camera stuff in a better place. So I just wanted to reorganize that, make it look cleaner. Um, the big clock we still have not hung on our shiplap wall. It's gotta go up. I gotta just ask my husband to get it up. But I do want to rearrange the living room a little bit more so the clock actually looks right on that wall. But anyway, so I'm gonna move that for now over to our living room wall so that it prompts us to get it hung. But that looks so much better in that area. Just having a few things picked up and tidied and put away in the correct spot. So there's a third tip here is put things away in the correct spot right away. I don't know how long, obviously it's been since December since we've had those Christmas ornaments. So things just sit there. I see them every day and I don't do anything with them. So you need to put things in the correct spot right away so that you don't just have stuff accumulate and pile up in the wrong location. And then it also makes it harder to find it, things in the future if they're not in the correct spot. So um, those are my three areas. It really took me 10 minutes or less, honestly. So hopefully you can do this too. It's not too difficult to find a few things that you no longer use to declutter that you can then tidy that space and just feel good about having accomplished something in your home to strive for that simple living. That's definitely what we've been doing in our home this year is more simplified living, less stuff, less clutter. Um, and this time is definitely a time to do that because we can feel overwhelmed internally and getting rid of things really helps distress as well. So anyways, I hope you can give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that red subscribe button if you are new and you're enjoying these videos. And I hope you are well and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. I'll talk with you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.